drivers. Let's go. Hey, Jack? Yeah. All right, where to? Uh, we're going to 225 Horizon. Jack. Jack. That was the name of the man who burned down the old asylum where I grew up when I was a child. No one knew him. No one knew who he was, where he came from. We could hear him screaming all night. His dogs. And then one day, he came down from that hill and he said that he wanted me to come with him. He gave me the gas can and the matches. And then I. And then I. Sorry, did you say something? Have you been talking to me this whole time? I was telling you about the man in the asylum. Are you trying to scare me or something? You didn't think it was creepy? I mean, if you're trying to scare somebody, you kind of have to make sure they're paying attention to you first. You didn't catch any of that? Not really. I don't know, a word here or there. I thought you were on the phone. I thought you were talking about your grandfather or something. I mean, I, I, I made some really long pauses between the sentences, you know, like this complete horror shit. I mean, you, you, you really should have heard it. But why are you trying to scare people anyway? It's kind of stupid, but uh, I was having a drunken conversation with my friend the other day, and we were trying to decide who could be scarier, and he said that I, I couldn't scare a baby. I feel like you could be really scary if you wanted to, for sure. Really? Yeah. Well, what if I was up here with no shirt on? Huh? Well, what about if you got home later and I was in your bed with my shirt off and your name on my bicep and a tiny little boner? With your mom? Uh, and your girlfriends? And Ted? Look, man, if you want to freak people out, you can't dick around with piano music and orgies, okay? You have to go, like, full-on movie villain. What do you mean? All right, let's say you're meeting a guy named Joe, right? First of all, when he shows up, you have to be eating. Whenever anyone gets brought to a guy who's eating, you know that some shit is about to go down. It's good to see you, Joe. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. No, I, I, I totally know what you mean. And then, like, your henchman who's standing behind you, he smiles a little bit at the guy, right? It, it scares him even more, right? Exactly. Hey, Bernie, you're being rude to our guests here. What's the matter, Joe? You're not hungry. Have some steak. Huh? I know it'll be hard for you to chew since all your teeth have been knocked out of your fucking mouth. Bernie! Joe's not hungry. For the first time in his fucking life. Eat this steak, you fuck. And then you hit him with the random question. Yeah. Like about anatomy or something. It's a must. Let me ask you something, Joe. You know how many bones are in a fish? None. After I'm done with it. I'm gonna sleep in your fucking blood tonight, Joe. I'm gonna gargle that shit in bed. I'm gonna blast it out of a fucking fire hose. All over your wife. Ex-wife. <laughs> Sorry about that. But then, then you're gonna get all civilized. Yeah, the guy that's all into fine art and yeah. ballet and shit, the Euro villain. Those guys are the best. See, now we're getting somewhere. Joseph, have you ever seen the dance of the Black Swan performed in Moscow? Oh, but you must. It's exquisite. Yeah. Yeah. Do you, do you know your... Shakespeare, Joseph? Do you play Baccarat, Joseph? 
Masha. And that's when you hit them with the really scary shit. Have you ever seen a heart beat outside the body, Joseph? It is stunning. You walk over to the window, and that's when you start talking about your childhood. When I was a boy, Joseph, my father would take me to the slaughterhouse every Sunday. He wanted me to know how fleeting life was. And life is fleeting, Joseph. Especially for you. Oh, yeah. And Joseph is just, like, terrified at this point, you know? Ooh, you know what would be good? What if they were both there? Just both villains together, you know? Just like, um, gentlemen, how are your stakes? Please forgive me, but we are in my dining room, and that is my father's recipe. And Vernon is my associate. How is this man doing this? Uh, you know, all this talk has got me a bit curious. Can't wait any longer, so I'm just gonna ask you straight away. Do you gentlemen enjoy skydiving? Hold on a second, who the fuck is this guy? Uh, sorry, it's, uh, it's Tony. It's, that's the friend I told you about. How is he here? I don't know. He just got into my head. <laughs> How much of a pussy are you, by the way? I mean, it's pathetic. It's too pathetic to even enjoy. Are you kidding me? How fucking hard is it to just be a man? Let's be European villains. Oh, <laughs> 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 <laughs>